This video is going to show you how to orientate an autophoto map and a topographical map. Our autophoto maps has got a scale of 1 to 10,000 and a topographical map 1 to 50,000. So it means the autophoto only covers part of the topographical map. Now the question arises, which part? Now you can use distinctive features like rivers and roads and buildings to orientate it, but the best way to orientate an uh, autophoto on a topographical map is to use the marginal information. So let's look at a marginal information. We can see there's printed 29 degrees 6 minutes, and remember that's the longitudinal position, and that's 28 degrees and 15 minutes. So I know for longitude it starts at 29 degrees and 6 minutes, and it ends at 29 degrees and 9 minutes. For latitude, it starts at 28 degrees 15 minutes, and if you look here at the bottom, it ends at 28 degrees 18 minutes. So it covers an area of 3 by 3 minutes. So the best way to start is to use the top left hand corner information. So the top left hand corner information says starts at 29 degrees 6 minutes longitude and 28 minutes, ah, 28 degrees and 15 minutes latitude. Now, if we can find that corresponding um, corner on my topographical map, I know it will cover one, two, three blocks of three minutes east and one, two, three blocks minute south. Now, let's go and find that 29.6 and 28.15. So, that's 29 degrees zero minutes, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, so there, and 2815. I use my fingers, and I know this block here is the top left-hand corner, and it will cover one, two, three blocks towards the east, and one, two, three blocks towards the south. So the autophoto map only covers this nine blocks, these nine blocks of your topographical map. Now, how do you identify features on a autophoto? I'm going to use um, this example B. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see. There's B. We can see it's big buildings, but the advice I can give you, do not take an educated guess. Most of us do not have the experience to identify features on our autophoto map without first identifying the exact same feature on the topographical map. So we can see this is big buildings. These are big buildings. So B, it can be a shopping center. It can be apartments. It can maybe be even factories. It can be a school. It won't be a church. A church is usually a single uh, building. So I cannot really say what B is before I identify exact same. So if you look here, you can see there's 42nd Hill. There's a settlement area. There's a bit of open ground. And B is located exactly north of this piece of open ground. So if we go, you can see there's the settlement. There's the open ground. And there's the buildings. There are the buildings right north of it. Now let's zoom in so that we can see a bit. So there's the settlement area. There's the open piece of ground. There are the buildings. And what is the map symbol next to it? It's printed S. And S stands for school. So only now I can with great certainty say that feature B on the autophoto map is a school. Let's go and look at some more examples. Um, let look, let's look at feature C and D on the autophoto. So I use distinctive features. You can see there's the road. The road curves quite a lot. There's an open piece of land and there's a mountainous area. So using the curve of the road, I'm going to find the exact same features 
You can see there's the curve of the road, there's that open piece of land, there's the mountain, and there's C. Now, what is C? Let's zoom in. And you can see what's printed there is a golf course. Also, an auto photo. Often, if you see names like this, and it is at the edge of a town, it is a golf course. Now, let's look at feature D. You can see D is northeast. You can see the arrow points to this building. So, what is that building? And if you look at your auto photo map, you can see there's the golf course, northeast, and the building there. So, D on the auto photo map is a present. Again, if we do not identify, these buildings can be apartment buildings, it can be maybe a school, it can be a shopping center, etc. So unless you identify the exact same feature on the auto photo map, you won't be able, oh, on the topographical map, you won't be able to identify the feature correctly on the auto photo. Now let's use another example. We look at M, you can see M points to this, to zoom out a bit so that you can see the surrounding area around M. There's M, you can see there's a straight curve, refuse drives printed on it, so this can maybe be a, a railway line or road, again, Without identifying the exact same feature on the topographical map, I cannot see with the naked eye. But, and this is, you can see a very straight feature, so I know this is a human-made feature. But this, you can see, is a river going like that. So, Volcher feed is printed on it. And we can see that this feature in is just west of this meander of the Volcher River. So again, to find the exact same feature on my topographical map, and I'm going to zoom in so that we can see clearer. You can see there's that curve I've uh, showed you. So again, on the auto photo, there's the curve going like that. And now that I can see on the topographical map, I can see it's a railway. You can see there's the river, and there is the curve of the river, and I can see, let's zoom in, so that you can see exactly what is this feature represented by M, and you can see it is a blue feature, and it's got little dots on it, so I know it is a water feature. If you do not know your map symbols uh, by heart, I must go and find the corresponding map symbol on the legend of my map. And if you go, you will see it is the exact same symbol. And you can see M is non-perennial water on the auto.